welcome back to another estrogen release video i am asia and in today's video i am bringing you guys a shopping haul very minor very small just wanted to share this experience with you guys yeah let me start off with the backstory so my good friend kenya she told me well first she brought me a birthday present she knows i love whitney houston she knows i love funko pops well actually i don't think she knew i love funko pops but yeah she ended up getting this for me for my birthday a what would jesus do bracelet love and rocco playing cards which nostalgia right so she was letting me know that this shop around her way was closing down that location and so they were basically doing a liquidation sale and i was like because mm, she knows i love to shop she knows i love weird stuff so I was like, definitely got to hit that up. But it was like, they were going to be gone in like maybe a month or so. So she was like, you know, just let me know when you're ready to go. And then we can, you know, go together. End up coordinating that and went out there. Y'all, I'm not going to lie. By the time I got to the store, it was kind of like cleaned out. But they still had hella books, DVDs, and like a few like knickknacks here and there. So I was like, you know what? Let's just make the best of it. And I found some stuff that I... That just makes me smile. I have been, I brought this stuff a few weeks ago and I knew I wanted to do this video so it's kind of just been on my table and literally every time I walk by the table I either have to play with it or look at what I have. So yeah, let's get started. <laughs> So, the first thing that stuck out to me was the DVDs. Now, y'all probably like, girl, why are you getting DVDs? Everybody does streaming. I love streaming, obviously, but I am a DVD girl. If I could find VHSs, I would be a VHS girl. It's just something about physical content, holding the product in your hand. It just sends me. And also, I feel like, you know, that movie in uh, Leave the World Behind, when that girl found the house with all the DVDs that's my house that's my home now i don't expect to make it to that point in life but if anybody stumbles across my place you're, you're welcome. welcome but i saw these dvds and i was trying not to go too crazy but i want to say where's the receipt wow the receipt just ripped each dvd was a dollar according to this receipt and yeah each dvd was pretty much a dollar so i got one 13 DVDs. Technically, I got 13 plus DVDs because you see this Will Ferrell one? This is three DVDs in one. You can't beat that. And it's probably some of my favorite movies of his. Talladega Nights, of course. Step Brothers and the other guys. I think that's like my three top Will Ferrell movies. So, can't beat that. But I was really happy to get some Disney movies. I don't have Disney Plus. But I uh, got uh, Monsters, Inc., Beauty and the Beast. I got DVD, uh, Disney DVDs. So that was very, that made me very excited. I was very happy about that. Another thing that I thought was pretty funny is that a lot of the stuff that I had on my Amazon shopping list was at the store. Because at first I was like, man, it's only DVDs. I might as well just rack up on DVDs. I didn't have any intention of buying any knickknacks because it just the store was cleaned out but i started looking a little bit more and more and this is funny because this was actually at the end of my shopping trip this was at like the front of the store so i was checking out and then that's when i kind of got a little crazy but i've always wanted one of these little finger pocket things or puppet finger puppet things love this and you know i love crows so Oh, this baby this has been on my shopping list for so long but because it's such a like a minor priority i just haven't got around to buying it but y'all i am obsessed with these like it's just so realistic every time i see it i just want to bite it obviously i haven't but oh, it's so cute and a little chicken nugget but so cute another thing these socks i am obsessed with socks design socks Zops, zops, well, zops. <laughs> socks with graphics on them. This is like a spicy taco. So basically it's uh, socks that look like food. So I saw this and I was like, I have to have this. And then I am trying to get into fidget spinners and stuff. I am trying to find things to do with my hands on my downtime. For example, like if I'm watching a movie that I should be paying attention to, I will like mindlessly go pick up my phone and start scrolling through Instagram. So I'm trying to get better with just focusing. I mean, of course there's times when I have to multitask or whatever, but I'm trying to get better with just focusing on, you know, especially when I'm watching something that I need to learn from. But yeah. I want to get more into like fidget toys and stuff so I had a few fidget toys saved to my list but I need to get like I need to figure out one that speaks to me this feels really weird though what's in there Ew, what is that 
It looked like cottage cheese. But yeah, just something to keep my hands busy. I don't know if this is going to be the thing, but when I saw it, I was like, I had something like this saved on my Amazon list. So I was like, you know what, why not? Why not? Who cares? Let's do it. Uh, but yeah, those was at the beginning. That was at the checkout. So basically, I had all my DVDs ready to go. But then basically, I had all my DVDs. But then when I was checking out, I saw this stuff and I was like, I got to have it. I have to have it. Especially, y'all, I still can't get over these. Like, I literally just look at them, staring at them for like two, three minutes at a time because I just love them so much. They're so cute. <laughs> y'all, I, how can I start this story? When I was younger, I was obsessed with American Girl dolls. However, my parents could not afford them. So, I used to collect the catalogs and I would basically fantasize about all the products that I wanted from that company. One product in particular was a book. Now, I loved books that gave me the tea, the drama, taught me something. Like, I just love books, learning about things that, about life. Y'all, this book, I wanted it so bad, but again, my parents, they probably could afford this book, but I was like, I wasn't going to burden them with, you know, asking them for it. But when I saw this book in that store, literally, I screamed very lowly. I try to keep it a low profile, but I screamed, but I was just so excited. And I've of course, I could have been brought this book in my adult life, even though I don't have a need for it. But I was just like, I have to have this book. I haven't read it because obviously I don't really need to learn about my body. <laughs> I'm kind of past that point. I wanted to get this book in case I have a daughter and I could pass this on to her. Um, I know that sounds like the beginning of a hoarder lifestyle. <laughs> That's not what I'm trying to do here, but this book was just like a full circle moment for me and it's definitely going to be added to, to um, the things that I pass off to my children if I had some. But yeah, when I saw that book, it was just like, oh my goodness, so sweet. Another book that I wanted, this came out in college and you know, college students, you know, you already strapped for cash. It just wasn't a part of the budget, but I watched her press tour for it. I watched all the interviews for it. And so when I found this, I screamed again, quietly. But I don't know if that y'all could see that. But Yes Please by Amy Poehler. I wanted this book so bad, but again, I couldn't. It wasn't a part of the budget. So um, just seeing that when I came across that, because first I wasn't even planning on getting any books because... I get kind of overwhelmed in bookstores. It, I don't know, it's, it's a thing. But I was like, I'm just coming here just to get DVDs and, you know, find some type of knickknack. But when I came across these two books, I was like, I have to have them and add them to my collection. So I'm excited to crack this one open. I feel like I already kind of know what's in it because, again, I watched a lot of her interviews when she was doing press for it. But, you know, we still going to make it work. We still going to get into that. Um, Last but not least, the bag. Um, Marilyn just passed... Well, specifically, I think PG County um, passed this, I don't know if it's a law or regulation. They don't give out plastic bags anymore, so the more the merrier. And this book has, not this book, this bag has cameras on it, so I thought that was cute. I just realized I didn't say the store's name. The store's name is 2nd and Charles Street. No, excuse me. 2nd and Charles. But yeah, you can never have too many reusable bags, so love that but all in all great trip um i love mom and pop local stores it's just something that feels very like homey about them so i had a great time and then again i was with kenya so we had a good time as well just hanging out but all in all i just want to say i'm not trying to promote over consumerism i'm not trying to say you know shopping addiction trying to promote that type of behavior none of that but i do think that you should buy things that make you happy even if it's just a little chicken wing keychain you know if it puts a smile on your face get that chicken wing keychain you know like do what makes you happy it could be you know stupid to someone else but if you go past it and it makes you feel good on the inside do it with that being said i'm trying i don't know if y'all can notice i have gum in my mouth because i need to put i'm waiting on my lunch to to be sent to me i just uber eat it a playa bowl smoothie bowl but my stomach was like stop playing with me so i'm trying to i'm chewing gum trying to keep it in my tongue so i'm not like yeah y'all i got this book but all in all thank you for watching if you're watching please a like comment and subscribe and i'll catch you on the next video peace bye gum is still coming out and i ain't the bye y'all they're taking a pure electric signal and sculpting it into something of beauty.